now we're really playing uh, he's used to what he would really like to play he takes his shots well and he, defend, he defends very well how he has matured overnight eh? but Yosa finds himself in a big bind and he lingered too long into the shaded area the result of terrific defense not, on, not only that Joe there's a foul yeah that's his second personal fortunately for him it was an offensive foul Otherwise, it would have been take two. Here is Mananzana receiving a great assist from Ricardo. Great pace is up by 11 points. We got a minute, 20 seconds to go before the first half. I can't remember the last time great pace enjoyed a two-digit advantage over Crisp. Uh, ready? It's a foul of Mananzala, I think. Jimmy Mananzala is called for the foul. Yes, Joe. That's only his first personal. Bernie Fabiosa will have to, or a chance to cut down the Great Ace lead to a more manageable one-digit deficit. 50-40, a minute and 15.4 seconds left before halftime. With both teams in penalty situation. Right. And about 25,000 people in attendance in this opening day. This certainly augurs well for the future of the current season. Despite the absence of air conditioning and all, we've got all these people sweating it out. Nobody has left, really, since the first game. Carpio. 13 points now for Jerry Carpio. Coming back with a vengeance after being sidelined for one and a half games in the playoff series last year. And he pulls down the defensive rebound. Freddy Obalde cutting right into the path of Jimmy Maranzella. The ball hitting his knee on its way out. So, great pace will keep the basketball. And again, you've got a fleeting glass of the coaching staff of great pace, which includes manager Gortau and the former coach Jimmy Mariano. Ricardo Brown, a dozen points across his name now. You cannot float on Ricky Brown. You really have to pursue him. You've got to let him move away from that basket, but never float on him. Fabiosa fakes off Jimmy Maranzala. Ubaldi from the right side. Tries it off the glass. Maranzala with a powerful rebound. Ricardo Brown eluding Philip Cesar. Alalor ripping the lane. Gets it right back to Brown. Great move. Great play by great pace. I was just going to say, Joe, that move of Brown wasn't too good after all, you know, because he, was, he, had, he had a clear basket. What he did was to swing it back to the man outside. It was good. The man swung the ball back to him. Okay. That's the end of the first half, and we find Great Pace up by an almost unbelievable 15-point advantage over the mighty Crisp. Their resources in the person of Manny Victorino, who is not exactly in the best of shape, but who's really giving it everything he's got. The fifth man is Bugs at another, and uh, who are the men for Crisp uh, on the floor, uh, Freddy? Right now, uh, Crisp has got uh, Javier, uh, no, it's Gitapen, Cesar, then uh, we have Cristobal, Fritz Gaston and Pearson. Willie Pearson fielded a terrific baseball pitch, but he failed from point blank range. Wound up with an air ball, actually. And the counter pass break by Great Pace is in the making. Here's Aleo Lelo inside the paint from the right side. He laid it in. Seems like everybody's scoring for Great Pace. That was a clear example of Aleo proving that he's inside the basketball game. Again, aggressiveness, aggressiveness, aggressiveness with a capital A, and it's a 17-point market for the coffee makers. Well, it appears and almost losing it on a near swipe by Kito Saga and the baseline referee spots a foul. That's a foul in the center. That's his uh, first foul. I'm sorry, that's his second foul. Mike Ristobal inbounding right in front of the Christmas bench. Here's Abik Kidat in double team. As he said, they almost are kidding us. He did the steal and steal it. And here's the Lenore breaking the sound barrier, going up against Christopher. Getting blocked by Fritz. Fritz blasting his right eye. I think he caught a wayward elbow there accidentally. A Lenore running the baseline. A little bit grinning from ear to ear. Loisaga is inside. He rips the middle. Got it. That was a clear cut of Loisaga. He set the lane open. He went for it. And uh, while uh, Lenore was taking time out, so Loisaga gave him the ball. He's now losing it to Alejo Lelour. You know, Freddy, the great pasters, all of them are not only great shooters tonight, they're also turning out to be Stoltons of Swipe, all of them. Yes. This guy can't seem to do anything uh, good at this point, while well, Data's been doing everything perfect. 60 41, 19 point advantage. Ricardo Brown diving for the leather, losing it to Willie Pearson. 
And there's Mike Cristobal continuing the fluid motion to Gaston Gidabin. Give me a shot there. Five points now for Abbott. Last year's MVP, 60-43 to count. Hardly a dent on the very formidable 70-point lead being enjoyed by the coffee makers. He sent it posting himself up high. Gidabin following him. Brown in the left line. Cross score to Vicente. Let's see how he fares against the double team. Nope. The ball falling right into the hands of Fritz Gastoni crosses the midcourt line, trailed by Luis Saga. He tries to put it in on a very haphazard move, but he drew a foul in the process. That's the second block that Luis Saga has done for, for tonight. Baseline inbound by Fritz. He doesn't feel it. He's going to try to humiliate Vicente, and he didn't succeed in doing that. It's still 60-43, 70 point market for Great Pace. Brown looking for 19 points. Yes. It trickles in. There was a shot from behind, but Brown was off balance. He took the shot and made it. The guy is showing us a very wide repertoire of shots tonight. Looks like everybody on the Great Pace bench is really honed up in every department of the game. They have thus become a very serious challenger to the seemingly impregnable might of the Crisper Redmondizers. Brown on the line looking for Grassland. Got it. 17 points for Ricky. Yes, and... Uh, Great pace is up by 20 points. 63 for great pace. Chris Pest got 43 with 9 minutes 36 before the uh, third quarter. Here's Mike Cristobal. Then on the other side of the court by Ricardo Brown. Willie Pearson missing from the side. A great steal by <laughs> Willie Pearson, which he did not complete. And Ricardo Brown was right there to pick up the loose ball. Beautiful. Alelor was fouled in the attempt. He goes to the line, and the culprit was Fatim Israel. Gaston goes out for Atoiko, Israel for Philip Cesar. At the same time, we have another ceasefire. We, uh, what's the reason for that? Uh, came very early in the quarter, didn't it? Yes, uh, Joe, at uh, this early stage of the, of the quarter, we still have 19, 17 to go before the, uh, before the end of the third quarter. I don't blame Tommy for calling a timeout because uh, he feels that uh, Great Pace is starting to have a big bubble in the ball game, and he really had to regroup his men. Well, the ball went off the floor, but the Crispo Redmanizers will keep it after that foul. Debuted to Alejo Alulor. That's his third personal. Willie Pearson, an high post against Alulor. There's the double team, and he's got a foul. That's a foul on Alejo Alulor, which gives Great Pace and Chris Pan identical uh, three fouls apiece. Two successive fouls there by Alejo Alulor. By Cristobal will be inbounding right in front of Tommy Monoto, who, by the way, is looking very placid. He's taking things in stride. Abit Gidabin pulls through from point blank range. That's seven points for him now. But here's the deadly menace, Ricardo Brown. Alenor. Oh, what a great assist from Ricardo Brown and a great conversion by Mr. Alenor. That's, That's a bad pass by, by Cristobal. Error upon error by the Crisp for Redmondizers, and they're better regroup fast. You know, Joe, at this stage of the ball game, you won't even notice Adornado not scoring because the rest of the guys are doing the scoring chess for him. As a matter of fact, you're so right. Foul. Chito Luis Saga picked up his second personal there. That gives him 14 fouls so far against three for the Redmondizers. Time down to 8 minutes and 32 seconds, third quarter. Cristobal lingering in the three-point region while Abit Gidabit is posted up low against Vicente. He rams his way through, misses, and loses the ball to Luis Saga, who in turn loses it to the baseline, but not before it was patched plus by Willie Pearson. Ricardo, playing court general, raising two fingers to signal the play. In a short one, we'll find out what that's all about. Bogues at Renato. Let's see if he can gain some point for himself. Look at him. Oh, totally distracted by Abed Gidabin, who receives a long outlet pass, and he consummates with a, a near dunk. I knew it. Well, we're not going to see two-minute dunks this year in the absence of imports, but we'll see some sparkling ones coming from the big men, and I imagine it would be coming from guys like Abed Gidabin, Mon Fernandez, even Manny Victorino is capable of that. 